Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back. This video, we're going to be talking about how to easily add data to a list and how to easily print a list in just one line of code. So before you get started, check out our sponsor. Pramp is a free mock interview platform where you can develop your technical interviewing skills. Practice coding with live execution of all major programming languages to solve real interview questions. Interview types include data structures and algorithms, product management, behavioral interviews, system design, front end, and data science. I've personally used this service to successfully crash course for a software engineering interview. Lots of people are having success getting positions at companies like Amazon, Google, Twitter, and more. Check it out, I'll leave a link for you guys in the description. All right, so if you guys remember working with arrays, it's really super easy to add elements up front. For example, we could create an int array, call it Grady's, uh, and set that equal to some collection like so. And we could just pass those numbers in here like this. Unfortunately, we can't exactly do the same thing with a list. You can see we just get an error. And it says cannot convert from int array to list integers. So the solution here, well, there's various ways that people talk about doing this online. You can go look them up if you want to see various ways besides this. But one that I think is the easiest is to just create an integer array in this case and then convert it to a list because there's actually a very easy method that we can use to convert an array to a list. So to see that in action, all we gotta do is say, arrays dot and then select as list so what does as list do you can hover over as list if you need more information but you can see it returns a list and it takes the array by which the list will be backed in other words what elements do you want in the array and then we'll just throw it in here like so and boom it doesn't work man just pop them in there separated by commas end it with a semicolon and you are good to go. So that's gonna make your life a lot easier rather than doing this junk or creating some loop to add information, which you might need to do in situations, but in this one, we know the elements up front, so we can just put it as is. If you're getting this from user input, we're probably gonna need a loop. All right, so now we talked about adding elements real easily. How do we print the entire list in one line of code? Well, if you remember a while ago, we talked about how to do this with arrays. All we did was say, arrays dot two and there was two string and then deep two string so here's the two string and then deep two string deep two string was if you had nested arrays but we were working with just 1d in this situation so we're going to go with two string and we're going to pass in our list it's not going to work but it's a step in the right direction so we'll say grades so we're going to get an error that's because this is expecting an array but grades is a list and these aren't compatible. So we actually need to convert it back to an array. So yeah, it's weird, lots of conversion going on here, but this is the easiest way I could think of. So grades dot to array. That's going to convert grades to an array and then it's compatible for this method and we can output it. And we'll just cut this and put it in the print line and we should be good to go. All right, so that was a process but it should work let's run it and see what we get and you can see it outputs the entire list so that's what i want to show you guys in this video in the next video i'm going to be talking about iterating through a list and we're going to go over some variations in the next couple of videos so hopefully you guys are excited because lists are pretty awesome and it's good to get some more experience with them so thank you guys i'll see you then and don't forget to sub